Hello traders and welcome to the weekly market overview with me Pierre at PFX. I hope you all uh, doing well in these hard times we have with all the lockdowns and social distancing. Hope you all uh, really staying safe and uh, not uh, going out much if not needed. That seems to be the only solution for now. Uh, as usual, we're gonna take a look at all the majors including gold and oil. And I will try to guide you uh, through the um, trades uh, or the uh, possible trades for the upcoming week. So uh, while I roll the intro and disclaimer, please hit that like button for me. And if you're new to the channel, do not forget to subscribe. See you there. So welcome back guys, um, a quick look at the calendar and um, it's uh, surely uh, that we're gonna see even uh, more uh, bad numbers uh, this week as well. Uh, we will start with um, ANZ Business Confidence for New Zealand, manufacturing PMI from China. This is gonna be very important I think. Uh, the market is already forecasting a higher uh, number than previous. So this is uh, something uh, really important to look how things are looking already uh, in uh, China. Uh, to then have uh, the uh, consumer confidence from the US, this one I'm expecting it um, a very low number actually we don't have a history here for some reason but uh, i think this is uh, will not be enough with how the situation is looking right now in the us and until tuesday <laughs> we're gonna get the release i think it's gonna be much lower adp non-farm employment change at the minus 125k this could be also not enough um, also uh, from the us ism manufacturing pmi at 46 um, we've been much lower uh, before the virus so i think this is also something gonna be a surprise to the downside unemployment claims last week we had 3,483k uh, no one is daring to forecast uh, seems uh, like right now so we still don't have a forecast at the moment uh, and on friday the um, uh, non-farm uh, payroll uh, and the um, average hourly earnings uh, expectation to, to be a lower average earning and uh, only minus one uh, minus 81k uh, employment rate at 3.8 these I think these forecasts are a little bit um, optimistic actually I'm, I'm looking for much worse number than that so um, those are uh, the news uh, of course we have also the ism non-manufacturing from the us um, also been um, doing very well uh, well lately but now also to expect a much much uh, lower numbers uh, all this uh, us dollar news uh, us uh, usa news gonna affect the us dollar um, next week so um, gonna be a very important week for the dollar and as you see it seems like the market is already pricing in some bad numbers uh, after this uh, crazy trading we have right now a uh, big drop to the downside a huge move to the upside another big drop to the downside so it's not easy traded and my recommendation recommendation that you trade the um, at the moment uh, one day at a time because there is so much news and headlines and and uh, um, central banks um, from all over the world doing whatever they can throwing everything they have on the market to try and stabilize it uh, make a, a little bit a stable situation but it is not easy guys so uh, my recommendation is to trade one day at a time and uh, there is no need to have a very long bias for now uh, because it is very hard as you see this is something that you don't see um, every month yeah this is a crazy uh, wide swings we have so uh, technically we uh, do have uh, a nice uh, level on the daily chart here for the dollar uh, and that is at around the 618 Fibonacci retracement of this uh, whole move to the upside at that uh, same area we have the 200 moving average uh, on the daily and we do have 
uh, this level we are trading we may start trading back at that 9770 area which been a good uh, support and resistance level if you look at the chart you see that this area been tested many many times as both uh, support and resistance so uh, it is a really a good level to keep an eye at uh, I'm not saying that we um, gonna see um, a quick bounce uh, back all the way but it is a good level to watch because at the moment the the uh, momentum is to the downside as you see on those daily candles and we've been watching this in our trading room and um, the main idea was uh, that we are still in a bullish market as far as we are above the trend line to then we start seeing lower highs start uh, coming here as you see and uh, we got a nice around the top so uh, the idea was um, for uh, for last week that uh, as soon as we break this trend line and this neckline which was a very important thing to then start looking to sell the dollar uh, uh, to to sell the dollar on rallies and that uh, idea went very well so far if we go down to lower time frame uh, on the one hour we see it clearly we had the break retest another continuation another retest and continuation so for now uh, short term we are uh, we should be looking for the same scenario to keep going and uh, to then keep an eye on this area down here as i said the 9770 could be a possible level for at least a halt or a possible uh, bullish uh, uh, move from uh, this area but as at the moment uh, we keep following the short term trend which is to the downside on the dollar oil uh, still also uh, very bearish uh, we had uh, almost oil inside this range for the whole week inside this uh, smaller range here to then um, on friday we saw that we had a breakout and continuation but at 20 i think uh, the 2021 area still uh, the major support if we look at the monthly chart you see that uh, we are trading back at level that we had at around 2002 this is not a normal situation at all and uh, what if if that 20 got broken are we looking to uh, back to down toward 10 11 dollar and as far as we can go back we have uh, prices back to 1986 that was uh, the lowest at around uh, 1050 so <laughs> this is a crazy market at the moment and uh, i think um, there is still hope that this uh, 2021 may hold as far as we are inside this uh, little uh, the the bigger range here let's take off this one we are trading outside of it um, this is now uh, a uh, possible um, buy level to look for another bounce back up toward 28 29 area so uh, keep trading this range until you have a, a break out of it at the moment where the oil uh, prices are testing at right now could be a possible short term uh, bounce to the upside but a break below that i don't dare to think how far this can, may go so uh, as i said a break below that that will open the door for um, maybe all the way down toward uh, 11 which is uh, a crazy number actually uh, gold on the um, trade idea we had here previously uh, for those of you who took the trade um, happy pips because uh, you've got um, target one uh, and we almost got target two uh, I got stopped out actually I was moving my stop loss uh, below uh, structure and on my broker um, there was uh, last week a crazy spike uh, with a, almost a hundred dollar all the way down to uh, somewhere down here actually uh, spiked me out in a second and uh, went back up I am in a dispute at the moment with I IC markets uh, it seems like uh, we are moving forward and, and I may get uh, most of my profit back but um, yeah got stopped out with that um, uh, with that move and um, <clears throat> I still think we should keep looking to um, being long on gold as far as there is no break below uh, this area at around 1600 uh, uh, it is a possibility for a continuation I don't see any reason for gold weakness at the moment so we should keep looking to buy uh, the dips keep an eye on this uh, little range we have right now 
um, as far as there is no break below it look to uh, buy and uh, for that continuation to maybe happen so uh, as for now um, 15.95 is uh, the last line of defense for for the bulls before a uh, bigger dip because if this got broken then we may be going back down toward 15.50 which is still a possible good bullish level as well if that correction will happen to the downside euro usd so the opposite of the dixie it is moving nicely to the upside at the moment and as i said also crazy wide moves um, breaking to the upside to then break to the downside in reverse one more time as i said uh, previously we've got uh, uh, let's go to the weekly time frame the uh, macron gap is now uh, closed and uh, last week ended up with a very strong uh, bullish uh, candle here uh, again short term uh, keep looking uh, for uh, buying the dips for now uh, if we uh, put that uh, Fibonacci retracement on this chart as we had on the Dixie uh, we see that uh, this may be the area that we should be watching for next week as a possible level of um, a possible level of interest uh, here for for the bears so keep an eye here if um, there is no continuation to the upside and fail to break higher you may get some kind of correction uh, back down on this market so uh, short term uh, there is still some room any correction back down that failed to make new high you could look for another bounce higher from this area at around the monthly pivot point so for now short term support is this low down here if that still holding there is uh, possibly a continuation you could also keep uh, drawing this uh, trend line here as far as we are trading above it uh, short term there is a possibility for a continuation to the upside the situation in the u.s with the coronavirus it's looking not looking good at all as you see the numbers keep getting bigger and bigger and that is a big issue for the US uh, at the moment so that could be also another reason for some more uh, dollar weakness uh, for now <coughs> sterling also um, huge moves um, after breaking uh, on the weekly uh, candle below uh, all-time low um, if we look at the monthly chart we see that uh, we broke um, below um, all the, all the uh, data we have to then end up moving back uh, to the upside and this is um, we have uh, two tra trading days left of this month this is the monthly candle uh, a huge rejection on a monthly candle here the, you don't uh, see something like this in uh, if you look at the monthly chart uh, the last time we had a um, big rejection was uh, back here but if you look at the size of this candle it is uh, a pretty huge uh, rejection at the moment so that is something to keep keep in mind uh, ended up to be a bullish engulfing candle on the weekly and on the daily as you see we are back above uh, this uh, important support level that got broken uh, previous uh, previously last week so um, short term seems like uh, we may see a continuation even here uh, it's been a uh, very strong uh, break above this uh, range we've been watching this range in our trading room and uh, the break above it was a signal for possible uh, bigger correction or a possible reversal which is um, happening at the moment so uh, for now even here short term look for a, a, some kind of a correction to then look for a, a continuation even here one could draw some uh, trend lines and follow those to see if we uh, gonna hold above these tr trend lines uh, so uh, I would uh, first off go with the first uh, uh, the inner trend line for now because the, tr the momentum is stronger on the on the inner one uh, and we still have higher highs and higher lows and uh, looking for that continuation as i said at least uh, short term um, on those uh, charts uh, usd jappy also uh, strong uh, bearish candles um, ended up um, there was a lot of signals here on the daily that we are losing momentum uh, a couple of uh, or maybe three candles of hanging man uh, also we've got a evening star formation here to then um, last Tuesday we've got a strong move to the downside closing below this one this one and this candle so 
all these now are confirmed uh, formation and all of these are reversal uh, confirmation we had a strong uh, move to the downside on friday as well and right now uh, the price is sitting as a possible um, old support and resistance level at uh, the 107.80 um, which was uh, tested also um, many times as a uh, good uh, support and resistance area so keep an eye on this uh, level where the price is testing right now it is a pretty important level for the bulls so uh, this was the same here we were following uh, the the move to the upside last week and we start seeing that uh, after this high here failed once failed twice failed three times to make a new high it was a clear signal with a strong a bearish um, divergence on the rsi uh, all that was showing uh, that the market is losing momentum and uh, we were following uh, the first break below uh, this level on the one hour here and to then see a break below the trend line and uh, another important break of the 10970 which was also an important support level so um, this started now a, a possible uh, reversal and um, yeah we should keep uh, looking to uh, sell rallies on this market um, first uh, level of interest would be 10850 or if we move all the way back to 10870 which is uh, a better level to look also for a possible continuation to uh, the downside as far as this is now below the 200 moving average on the one hour i'm looking to short uh, New Zealand USD also nice reversal uh, it was developing uh, a nice range here we're gonna look at that on the on the um, lower time frames but if we look at the weekly and the monthly we see that uh, even here the monthly candle is a huge uh, rejection uh, on the weekly time frame uh, this candle did test uh, this support level and start bouncing to the upside as you see and uh, the week ended up with a nice uh, bullish engulfing candle uh, daily time frame uh, you see that we still have some room to the upside uh, this market still have some room all the way toward this uh, broken structure to get retested so there is potentially a continuation to the upside for now um, on the lower time frame uh, we saw it clearly here uh, how it was developing we start to have this range we start watching this range and the market start moving slowly to the upside to then get this um, channel that got broken and yet another um, higher high and uh, continuation to the upside so we do have higher highs and higher lows now on uh, on this chart uh, the most important thing was the break above this uh, little range and uh, we've got the break above that a retest and possibly continuation to come toward this level before any uh, reversal back down so next level of interest is still uh, up here and there is still some room for this market to move higher so for now uh, i would say keep uh, looking to buy the dips uh, toward uh, that major target uh, usd chief also uh, strongly bearish um, also there was a um, signal for reversal the first signal was this hanging man candle followed by an evening star uh, candle to then um, everything collapsed and uh, there was failure of making new high here it was also clear that there was uh, losing momentum at this double top there was no break of the neckline but then this lower high here and the break of the neckline was a clear to then see a break below the trend line and this uh, continuation started so for now this market is in a, a bearish trend for now and uh, we um, we will keep following this on the lower time frame as soon as we see something like this happening once again try to short it uh, toward monthly s2 and maybe even uh, lower so that is the scenario for uh, this uh, market so uh, yeah aussie cat also um, a reversal here after a huge move to the upside if we look at the weekly time frame we see that the market almost tested uh, this um, uh, level up here as you see so uh, if we put it like this from the 
you see that we had almost a, a tag of that previous high and then start uh, losing momentum uh, daily candle was a clear uh, evening star formation here that happened after that a huge move uh, parabolic move to the upside to then um, see a close below that uh, star formation and a failed new high which make a lower high on this chart to then start seeing the price collapse so it was a clear um, <coughs> reversal pattern <coughs> everything started with uh, this head and shoulder that we had here uh, it got broken we traded that in our trading room we were looking for a retest in continuation but the retest kept going higher and higher but there was always uh, um, there was never no break uh, a break above previous high and um, we start seeing that the market kept losing momentum and then when we had the break below this level there was just continuation to the downside was the only thing to do to keep shorting this market so um yeah the 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 same to uh, keep going right now i think there is uh, still uh, room to the downside we still have this um, gap down here um, i'm not i don't think oil will break that 20 but who knows and as far as oil is holding that level and the dixie is moving down we may see continuation to the downside here on uh, this market especially now that we did break uh, this neckline as well so as far as we are trading below this neckline we may see continuation to the downside on this market so uh, keep following those uh, structure levels are very very important um, so uh, for now this neckline down here is a um, important structure short, short term that got broken retested and uh, there is uh, possibly some continuation to the downside here on uh, USD CAD um, Aussie USD um, also still uh, moving to the upside in a nice reversal let me correct this trend line so if we look on the weekly time frame here uh, or the monthly actually we see that we do have another um, rejection here and we will see how the months will close uh, this is going to be a very important close for the month for the weekly we had uh, the body of this uh, week um, engulf uh, totally the previous week's body and um, yeah at the moment we still have uh, higher highs and higher lows so uh, short term we should uh, keep looking to follow this trend to the upside and see how far it may get as far as we are above this trend line i would say keep buying the dips on this market um, to the upside i think the next uh, major level gonna be up here at around this area this is a pretty important structure as you see been tested many many times in the past and that could be a possible market uh, objective so as far as we are trading above this trend line and as far as we are making um, uh, higher highs and higher lows as we have here we should keep buying those dips uh, to and um, look for a continuation to the upside so uh, yeah guys that was it for the youtube version uh, thanks a lot uh, for watching the video and if you made it all the way to the end please um, write a comment let me know that you've uh, watched the whole video <laughs> i would love to know who of you were really f watching uh, all of it and uh, yeah thanks a lot don't forget to hit that like button as well and see you next week bye bye